Metro will be uh, Ken Twait. That is number five out of Brentwood, Tennessee. Frankie Road Apparel, Chevrolet Camaro. Hey everybody, we're here at Road America. This is the second leg of our back-to-back -back race weekends. We were at Mid-Ohio last weekend and uh, everybody knows what happened there, but uh, that's behind us now. It's uh, a big testing practice day, but the problem is we haven't got a lot of testing or practice in. We uh, went out in our first uh, test this morning. It was an hour and a half long, so plenty of time to get some uh, you know, things ironed out. But the problem is we had a uh, bracket that supports the nose that was uh, basically not strong enough and breaking it. The nose was making so much downforce, it was bending the nose support. We had to bring it in, cut that old support off, and make a brand new one from scratch that was gonna be stronger and, and support this nose that we have on the car. So we have one 30 minute session left before qualifying, and that's gonna happen here in another 40 minutes. Saturday Road America qualifying is over. We qualified first thing this morning. Uh, you know, it's just so funny how racing can go. It, you, you go into it expecting one thing and it always throws you a curveball. And you know, that's kind of the hardest thing to hit is a curveball. And we just kept, we just keep getting that, you know. Um, we weren't able to get a lot of practice time in here. Thank goodness I have got a lot of time on the track itself. So I know the circuit fairly well. So I was able to adapt fairly quickly when we did get our 30 minute practice in uh, yesterday. So, you know, we set a respectable time anyway. And, and uh, you know, leading up to qualifying, I had pretty big expectations. I knew the car had plenty in it. Um, and on a cool uh, eight o'clock in the morning session, you know, the motor makes a lot of power. Once you get the tires up the temp, you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna have a lot of grip and a lot of straightaway speed. And things that uh, is the goal on Trans Am is you get 15 minutes to qualify. There's not any time to mess around, man. You got to get with the program. With it being so cool though, I mean, it really took two warm-up laps to really get the heat into the tires if you need to. These Pirelli tires are fairly hard and it takes some scrubbing to, to get, some, get them up to temperature and up to pressure in order to set a good lap time. I was up uh, up the temp after two laps and on a huge flyer. I mean, we were we were going great, just according to plan. Hopefully, get a second shot at it after that flyer to even improve upon that lap. But unfortunately, um, I came upon a whole bunch of oil all over the circuit through the kink. You know, the kink is one of the fastest corners in <laughs> known to man. You know, it's a 130 mile an hour kink in the track and. Uh, on the exit of that, I hit oil and it, it, the car, literally, you're making a left-hand turn after that, that and the car would not turn. I thought, oh my gosh, it, it just about wadded the car up. Uh, Simon Gregg had blown an engine and oiled the track down, you know, it happens. So our quick lap was nullified immediately. And so, you know, double black flags, got to come in, shut the track down. And guess what? They also checkered the the session too. So we got two laps in qualifying. Unfortunately, none of them flyered. America's National Park 
of speed. It is race day Sunday for the Jockey Painted America 250 presented by Quick Trip. My name is Eric Miller, your track announcer here at this beautiful 640 acre facility welcoming you. The race is over here at Road America. It was an early morning, eight o'clock start. Um, it was full of all kinds of stuff, man. Uh, there's wrecks, cut full course cautions. Uh, I even had a windshield banner come off and stick right on my grill and it started overheating the engine. So I had to bring it in to clear that. I got caught speeding when I came in. And uh, so then I had to do a drive-through penalty. So, you know, it just stunk. You know, we ended up uh, P10 had to drive our way back up through through the other classes and, and catch uh, the other TA cars. But uh, in the end, you know, we ran some good laps, brought the car home in one piece. It, it was a fun day. It was an unlucky day. Uh, sooner or later, you know, our luck's got to turn around. Uh, maybe it'll be at Brainerd in a couple weeks, but we're, we're going to keep fighting here. We got a, a fresh car right here right after this race, and uh, we'll be ready to go.